Fiki Table is brought to you by Nikki Hit Beauty Studio, Mountain Anton Koto, Buna Musa di Duala, and Prime 22 Bar and Restaurant, Bukwango Buya. So ever since I was a little girl, just watching models trot the runway with their long legs, amazing body, you know, tiny waist, big eyes, long necks, like it's just... That was beauty for me. I wanted to be them, just like every other girl in my own, in my age. You know, everybody wanted to just be them, to be as beautiful as them, because that was what was as certain as beauty in the days. But today, beauty comes with a lot of things, a lot of challenges, a lot of um, expectations. Now, if you don't meet them, they start looking at your beauty, like, okay, if it's beauty, and then what? So, <laughs> beauty queens in Cameroon, Miss Cameroon. Yes, you are the most beautiful woman in Cameroon. But what else are you doing? How are you impacting pop culture? How are you impacting social culture? And how are you definitely changing the entertainment industry? Guys, welcome. Thank you. Okay, okay. I love the swag. What you is know, going on here? You're the, the vibes. Okay. The big boy vibes. This is so Cameroonian. Of course. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <Romeo fashion. laughs> you, know, you guys look amazing. Welcome. All right. So we're talking about beautiful women, models. Have you been following um, um, Cameroonian, the Cameroonian, this Cameroon? Any Miss Cameroon? <laughs> yeah, Cameroon. You don't follow the Miss Cameroon. On social media. <laughs> no, you follow. I, I, you don't follow. You follow which Miss Cameroon? <laughs> <laughs> we all have been watching this. Yeah. We all have been watching this. Okay. <laughs> you started watching. this. You know, <laughs> but yeah, that, to be honest, you look like someone. Somehow you follow Miss Cameroon. I, I prefer not to speak. Yeah, <laughs> not true, not true. I prefer not to speak. I love you. Come on, man. Also moving on, moving on. Uh, no, I might miss Cameroon. All right, yeah. all right. So, Miss Cameroon, the, the pageant. I mean, they are there to, they are obviously supposed to play a role. Um, this pageant, beauty pageant, pageants. I, how did the Igbo put the color? Pageant. <laughs> 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 they are oh really here to play a role yeah. which means putting, making women feel beautiful, mm -hmm. confident, you know, useful, have value, and obviously marketable mm -hmm. because it's also a business. Mm -hmm. um, so I do think that this in back here, home, mm -hmm. because that's what it is, that's the norm around the world. Mm -hmm. How important are these beauty, especially this Cameroon pageant, how is it important to, to us, to Cameroon, to entertainment industry, to social culture? Um, I think since Mbani um, Anea, which was the, the biggest this Cameroon name, uh, Ayana, 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 yeah. I think she's, she's been the biggest name, but then it's not about just the popularity and the fame and everything. It's mm. about how much impact you can have, not just in entertainment, but across the board, social, social culture, mm. and you know, using your platform to advocate for social issues. Because the thing is, it's, it's a big platform huge one because if you it's, it's it's about the country you know about um about culture but then now you're wondering if okay you had this over the years you've seen that they've had the, this this platform has been since since 2004 in cameroon mm. but i've not really seen that impact of course yeah when they win most of a lot of them we go to charities you we talk about it you find them pay um, pay um, pay visits to charities and charity organizations yeah so i don't think that, that that's 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 just enough because i know if you have a platform it's about advocating for certain issues which are maybe, maybe personal to you or issues which are, which are a plague in society. Because if you, you expect, okay, now, this, one of the biggest struggles in Cameroon is, is, is people getting quality education. As Miss Cameroon, how do you advocate for people to get quality education? Because you have not, it's not just you, it's a platform, it's a network which you build. Because at the end of the day, most brands, when, 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 when most, most brands get to whoever's won the, the, the Miss competition for, and endorsement deals or to promote their products, makeup and everything. But then what's that humanitarian effort you're putting towards, you know, towards, towards leveraging your platform and giving it um, in redefining what it means to be, to be beautiful. You mm -hmm. understand? Because I know the, yeah, you, like you said in, in, in the introduction, it's not just about looking good. It's about doing things that have impact on okay. people's lives. <laughs> yeah, because there are many people who look, who look beautiful. So many people look beautiful. But then if there's a competition for that, even though sometimes I find it vain a little bit, Right, but then it's a competition that exists right now because I think in 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 the in the, in the 50s, in the in the 1950s, it's about define 
the, 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 how women were seen in certain things like swimsuits, mm -hmm. because that's, that's how we started mm -hmm. to define how women were seen in swimsuits. So it's like they launched the Miss Competition and then it moved now to now when women don't have to wear swimsuits again because it was about, object, they, they thought it was objectifying women. Mm -hmm. But then now you have a platform, how do you use that to your advantage? How do you use that to advocate for so, social issues? Yeah, so basically, I think that we need to see more from them. They may be doing, doing what they're doing, yes, going to charities and everything, but then how do you take the next level? The, the, the beauty queens that we have, yeah. um, year in, year out, that we've not been able to see um, kind of a sustainable impact of the work that they've done. I think that you, you would imagine, because each of them, while yeah. running for this, has a proposed project. Of, and a manifesto. A manifesto, <laughs> yeah. essentially, of what mm -hmm. they would want to do. And you don't, you know, immediately, this person is, is, is given the, the, crown. the crown and the sash and all of that. Nothing else follows through. I think part of the blame goes to the organizing body, mm -hmm. that there is no clear vision as to what follow through with um, making sure that these uh, 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 queens mm -hmm. are able to see their vision materialize. Mm -hmm. um, but also, because in, 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 in dealing with with, 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 with um, the beauty queens. What I realized is that it's almost di it's too difficult for, it's almost impossible if you're waiting for the for, uh, is it Kamisa or Kumisa to, that's the organizing body, yeah. to actually see through with these projects because once you made queen, queen they, are, they start preparing for the next queen. Yeah. So they are doing the regional competitions and all of that. So you have to Take initiative. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you look at, uh, um, I think last year it was Audrey, Audrey, Audrey Monka, 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 yeah. and she she had a, a project that she, she proposed there. It wasn't uh, the project itself was was criticized as mm -hmm. being shallow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, the project was criticized. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's just it's just it was shallow. But it has. But, um, you take uh, someone like Adam 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 Basil, yes, that. Even after she, she lost that, she's still a queen, you know, all of them, even if you lost, you're still considered a queen. Mm -hmm. She still did things like charity dinners. This year, March, mm -hmm. charity dinner to raise funds, educational funds for computers, for schools and all mm -hmm. of that, because she is deeply passionate about, she wasn't just saying that she wants to do this. So it wasn't, she did yeah. not need the crown to it actually is, it, engage it, 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 in that. That was supposed to give her a platform to exactly, do what she's exactly the one who, who organizes mm -hmm. for stack yes. and all of that. So you, she has, she, she also controls the managing uh, this model. Well, uh, like uh, Nikki, yes, and Nikki, yeah. And all of that. So you see that she is completely invested, which is why I, Think that this is very ornamental because most people who are winners yeah. is usually very political in Cameroon. Remember yeah, that there's, when, even a, there's even a controversy around this last year when this girl won. Yes, like, that, it's a whole scene. Yeah, I, I think that is very political. That, for example, last year it seems like it would only be appropriate if an anglophone won. won. Yeah, by virtue of the political situation, the political yeah, situation yeah. in the country that this was supposed to put this public image yeah. that, you know, and the phones are represented and all of that, that um, I can tell you that even if there is somebody from the North next, next year, that lady will win because the North has never, ever won mm -hmm. in this competition. This competition. So it, oh, they are even highly yeah, represented in entertainment exactly. and culture. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very political. I do not see what they, they've been doing, yeah. apart of, uh, but for Valerie, that I uh, actually see her on media and all of that because she established good networks and yeah. all of that. I've not seen the what impact, even with, with the Miss here. This is a squandered opportunity with the present Miss, yeah. um, with her and her team, because you made Miss Cameroon at a time when you have the biggest pandemic that has probably helped the world in the last 50 um, years, and your presence is not felt. You, the excuse is that they oh, cannot engage <laughs> in their <laughs> projects <laughs> because of that. COVID is a golden opportunity. It's not polarizing. Yes. So her, her, her project was to bring about national, national unity. unity. Yeah. If that, that's just a stretch, right? Yeah. <laughs> she will not bring yeah. about any national unity. We know that. So the issue is, but this is COVID. 
this was an opportunity to come up with some action, some mm -hmm. plan. She was, she was, she was seen, she was seen distributing. I mean, no, I come on. The, 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 we, we see those things all the time. Like it happens all the time. No, see, see, it's about. I'm talking about a sustainable plan, like COVID. So that can, that can, yeah, that, that can be impactful. impactful. Exactly. That is yeah. continuous. Not, so okay, what what I probably want to suggest is that she have changed her project, the one that she she made mention. Well, because it's exactly, too much yeah. this one. The, 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 COVID, the, COVID alone changed the way. Yeah, we operated in life. Yeah, it's done. It, exactly. It changed yeah. everything. So we, you that have to move have it, to change. change. Exactly. Yeah. So you, there is no way you can you can start stick, stick to, to and wait because you have a year to be Miss Cameroon. Yeah. Right. So within that period, you become very relevant by December. True. So you you this this is an opportunity. I'm saying it's a standard opportunity yeah. because this this is. An opportunity for her to show that you know I can take the wheel and this is it, and changed and changed how people even see the features. whole competition. And I was yeah. watching. I went back to watch the the video of this Miss um, <laughs> Cameroon thing, and it was very fascinating to me that this one person is talking at the other, the others are like, this. <laughs> you know, it's that's it's so it's so like, it's, it's so cosmetic. Like, like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks it looks, like, it looks like, I, I don't get it, but apparently that is. That is how it is. Everyone is supposed to be smiling. Yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and I cannot be smiling like that. Uh, when you're lost, yeah? But do you think my, my issue is that, I mean, over the years, right? I mean, beauty pageant has ex have existed from the 60s, 50s, yes. up to as we speak, with the biggest being Miss World and Miss Universe. Um, when you come down to national level, like our own here with, with Miss Cameroon, where people always feel like beauty, beauty queens embody beauty um, in, to an extent, intelligence. And and part, they, they, they have to promote culture. Then you now get to a point where you see beauty queens very interested in money, fame, and and wearing designer outfits and taking selfies. So now you're asking, do they even now the question is, do they even promote culture? Which the answer clearly is no, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't, yeah. yeah. I have to answer myself. Like they don't, because we don't see it. Yeah. Now Audrey Monkam, who is the current Miss Miss Cameroon 2020. And she, she said, and she's still saying that her, her project or what she's passionate about was to bring national unity, working with um, diverse cultures, bringing them together to actually let them know that Cameroon is united, right? You know, thanks to what is happening, the political issues. No, and she's saying, <laughs> let me say, she's using that to say that, okay, I can help in doing this. And then she hasn't, as we can see. This is like, well, we are in August, right? This is August, 2020, by December, She's off. Another person is on. So the, the question now is, why have these competitions when the queens and the winners don't seem to have any use to our culture or to entertainment? You really cannot stop a practice like that because the, the contestants lack vision. Um, because in itself, it's not something which is, which is bad. It's a platform for, 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 for representation. Mm -hmm. For representation, because I do not think that all the standards of beauty are represented there. That's why I'm putting it in quotes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That, um, but you can you can see the trade off in, in 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 confidence and aspiration that this this girl can give to other other young girls and all of that. I think that it's a good platform because of the type of popularity and notoriety and influence that, that comes you can, with. That comes yeah. With you. yeah. Now, how you utilize you utilize that mm -hmm. is what we are talking about. Exactly. Because yeah. because because and and you you see, it is easy to see it with with with, with, with beauty pageants like I don't know what I should call them beauty pageants like Miss Earth, mm -hmm. where it is still very beautiful, beautiful queens. After winning that, the delegation, the delegate is. It has to follow up because it's about environment mm -hmm. and environmental protection. So these are the people who run for this. They are invested in environmental protection, climate change, and all of that. Yes. So they come up with programs that actually target that. So it's not something that you just come and give. These are people who are passionate. Yes. You cannot go there and run without knowing all of this. So what, what we are saying is that yes. is, the, is the the organizing body now of, yes. of, of Miss Cameroon. Are they the ones preventing? No, they, they, or, they don't. How does I, I think the platform's because, already there. Yeah. No, right? the platform's there, but it's sometimes there. you need, you need uh, she's now Miss Cameron. How mm -hmm. much do they give again? A million or something? Yeah, I don't five know. Five million. Okay, five million. <laughs> so you have five million. Yeah. To five million. Let's go back. Let's go back. It's another thing. Uh, so, 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 something I can buy you for some time. I know it's not 10 million. Something can buy you shawarma. I know it's not 10 million. And they have one million left. You have a monthly salary of 150,000 francs and a house for a year. I think that. 
there was no other project mm -hmm. that would have been more meaningful at this time mm -hmm. than a project that had to do with mm -hmm. sensitization in the context of the times yeah and all of that mm -hmm. and I, I felt like this was a time when she could hold uh, zoom zoom conferences webinars and all of this with different actors mm -hmm. you know start making your impact because you'll be open to those things in now see, right now if she says i want to talk with this minister with this minister, i want to miss cameron wants to organize this to mm -hmm. talk about this and that, and that with these actors in the public sector in the private sector all of that these people are ready they are they yes. will be able they're to compared to, by the time but, but it's, it's not only important for society it's important for her yes how she moves forward after December. Yeah. Because this is because that house, you know. <laughs> You're taking the cheese, eh? Hot, hot. So it's important that you, yes, you do something that, uh, yeah, this, uh -huh. But there's 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 another thing with this with this with, with the whole whole idea of of beauty pageants is mm -hmm. is that in like in America you find that you, you find that um, 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 Miss America itself, the way it's been organized, right, mm -hmm. and the way the, the organization team rolls out the, the plan and how they bring the, the pageants, to, uh, the beauty pageants together. What they do is they make sure that you raise funds from the community, from the community in which you are in, mm -hmm. not 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 not, this, not the, the the natural standard where you come and you come and pay to register. In such a way that they are now connecting you to your to your community, where after you win the award, you go back to the community. And then you you you, 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 start from there. you start from there, and then charity from practice begins at home. Yes. And then after that, on now they, they, they open the way for you to do other charity um, charity work. So you see that there's there's more it is more in, there's more Can intent. I, have you have you actually listened to the the, the contestants, what? the queens God. for for Miss No for Miss USA or Miss <laughs> Okay, I thought you were like when they're talking Cameron. about the project. Yeah. It is, it is no, so the Miss, well Miss USA and Miss America are different. Yes, no, I don't understand whether it's Miss USA or Miss America. Okay, okay. So it's it's so defined. Like mm -hmm. it's not it's not saying I want to bring national unity. No. You know, there is there what is something is, that you it's want so to, narrow and so, so this, narrow yeah. and achievable. And, along the adding to that, what I've noticed about this international beauty pageant is that when you come there, you already had something that you were doing. Yes. Now yeah. you use that platform to just you know it, it, throw uh, more light. But you have the the luxury to actually change those plans and do something that mm -hmm. is visible. Mm -hmm. So to me, that nobody's always pointing at point your head that you would follow up on that plan. Nobody's doing that. And the shocking thing is, at when I, I think Adama Bazil when she was about doing her education, charity, mm -hmm. dinner thing, that she contacted this um, the organizing body and they threw their weight behind her. Sent even going to the action of advocating that the other queens join her. Out. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. Join her in. yeah, so it, 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 it's about you. It's about you. It's about, it's about, it's it's about, about the thought, right? Yeah. And, 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 the, and the ambition. Because I know they... Yeah, you, right. You, you you can you can you can be you can be beauty queen you can be all those things right but then what there's because what's what's the what's 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 it that you're you're, you're doing you know what's it that you're <laughs> are you guys normal <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna want the, the the organizers of Miss Cameroon to adopt the Miss America formula where they make sure that before you before you even get in the vetting process right it's strict mm -hmm. to be that you must have a vision so that the standards you don't just you, you're not just raising the, you're not just making people making people come and have in, um, um, fun yes. but then you're raising the standards about what it means to be miss, miss cameroon a lot of people use you understand music queens to raise I, I, money. I you, 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 the, the thing is that yes, the things that we, we, we it's, it's um, easier to, it's, it's easier to 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 channel certain certain um, um certain um, 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 um policies right yeah. through um, through an official person as a miss yeah. than just going you as a government yeah. so it's it's a it's, it's a win-win for the government it's, but it's more about how they themselves are able to you know i particularly have one worry because um, the image yeah. that we see of the miss is, is, is usually just one type of image, one type of body size. So I, I want to ask whether size matters. In, <laughs> like, in so, what sense are you like, asking? Like, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to ask whether there is, there is some, whether you think that is representative of, because the miss is supposed to be representative of, of that type of mm -hmm. woman, woman, woman like, well, and all of that. Mm -hmm. I feel like right. is it, is it, does it, it represent when you will look the pageant? Is it does it represent women in Cameroon? To me, right? My personal opinion, no, because I don't see how. I mean, there are women. There are women with different sizes that, mm. I, I, for me, I consider them extremely beautiful. Mm. Whether you're it's between not just subjective anyway, like natural. Yeah, like subjective. when you when you you yeah. you, you, you trim it down to you reduce it to just one side. You have to be tall. You have to be slim. You have yeah. to be. And I saw a recent picture of of of. Of Audrey, mm -hmm. um, I think she was she's on the media tour at Sweet FM with uh, the, the former two, 2013 Miss Cameroon yeah. Valerie, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I, to be honest, sincerely, I didn't like it. You know, um, I know Audrey, right? Yeah. I knew her before the Miss Cameroon thing, and then when I saw her now, she looks extremely like 
Yeah, it was just, I was just like, man, I had to screenshot and send it to Elonga. Like, Elonga, have you seen this? Like, this is... But, uh, but, but what, what if, what if she's, she's I don't, I don't happy with her skin? If it's, if it's in America... No, I, I understand like, that. But yeah. Like, like she, she can be, and there is still no one size. No one is saying people should not be... You cannot be seen. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, but you know, you know that now, that now, that in, now in, 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 no, in other countries right now, there's, there's, a, there's a new wave of doing... Um, yeah, um, plus size models. Yeah, the plus size models. Yeah, like, even, even, on, even the cover of top fashion magazines, they're changing it. Yeah, it's not, it's not about the same image. Because, because, because yeah, no, because I miss. No, 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 no. I mean, it, 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 it takes what it, of course, the thing is, the thing is, first of all, first of all, right, you have to understand that these things, these things are subjective, right? Now, whether, whether it's beauty now, but now, no, what, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that there's, 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 a, there's an effort to redefine what beauty is because naturally, already when you have the mixed competition where you have to, you have to be slim, you have to have all these, these aesthetics about what, what it means to be beautiful. Mm. It really puts people under pressure because you have people wanting to cut down, wanting to do certain things maybe to look like that. Or maybe because the, the Miss Cameroon ends up representing Cameroon yeah. on the international platforms yeah. like Miss World and all those other things. Maybe that's why they are maintaining the size. International size of beauty. Yeah, <laughs> but if it's supposed, when, to, when it's supposed it to be representative of women in Cameroon, why was. must it always be a stick skinny girl? That's that's my own. How is that so representative of because so you so what, what, okay, wait, okay, what should what should be the what should be the, the ideal um, average Cameroonian woman? Yes, is what's not, it? It's not slim what's, what's yes. it? What's, what should it be? The average Cameroonian woman is not slim. So what should no, it be? What should what should what should be that? What should be that? No, I am not saying. I'm saying that everybody that women yes should have the opportunity to compete mm -hmm. to become miss not that they should be a certain, a certain standard yeah that, that women imagine. should compete i don't see i don't i for example i want to see albinos there yes. i want to see i want i i, I don't see albinos there i don't see um, um, plus, plus size, size um, um, women there mm -hmm. i see that a woman has to be tall of a certain yeah I, I think i remember there. this, this indian woman was saying that if i have to go to competition with with yes, other women i was just like like the, the whole process, giant of the whole you are the whole excluding thing. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. other forms and sometimes even the predominant for, uh, um, forms of, of, of womanhood mm -hmm. that we have here. And you're saying this is a standard of beauty that people have to... Okay, no, so they, are, they are don't disagree because it, it promotes stereotypes about what a woman should look like, right? Mm -hmm. But then now what I'm saying is that you have even these fashion magazines now re redefining on their cover art what beauty, what, what beauty should be. Yeah. Because I know... But, okay, you, wait, 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 wait. This is my... You want to be all inclusive? Yeah, this is my, this is my, my problem. You, this is my you, problem. No, no, this is my problem. Don't get me there. This is my problem. Don't get me there. This is my problem. The, the miss has been defined as a standard of oh, beauty. beauty. Now, I don't disagree with, with that. Once you start creating a, a, a place for plus size women, you box them. Yes, what you are saying is we are seeing this as plus size, size. women. Yes. Rather than saying, okay, oh, all yeah. women should be able to compete on the same platform and people should be able to select, to choose whether they want a plus size woman as oh, the miss don't. for Cameroon. Mm -hmm. They want, they want an, an albino woman, they want this. They should be able to compete. Okay, wait, wait, now it's 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 it's. And and, and it's, why it's, can it's, why can a forty year old man not compete? Why not? Mm -hmm. um, or a fifty year old? Well, I mean, like it 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 should be an age range to everything now. Why should why should everybody compete? There's an age it's, range to to being a no no no. There's, there's no age range. No no no. There's okay. obviously there's no age range. But then yeah. I mean I mean I I at the end of the day you if, if you organize if it's, it's like you will want to go um, organize maybe um um for example every 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 career right has. Age limits. Age limits. Yes. For example, if you if you are if you are in government, by the time you're 60, they're kicking you out. If you're playing football, by the time you're 30, you're you're running on, on your on your last legs. So now, <laughs> don't you know, go in there. Cameroon, you just have one year to get old as <laughs> miss. Right? Yes. So now, so now, so but, but then now, it, it, see, I, I think it's oh, I think it's the point where if we want to be too inclusive, right? We miss the point about competitions, about about, no, about no, entertainment. No, this, this is, no, no, we are no, talking no. about we are not we are talking about see the amount of clean, the, the idea of inclusiveness. Yes, is is based on the fact that this competition is saying that. The stand, this, they are defining the standard of beauty. Mm -hmm. That this is Miss Cameroon. She represents Cameroon in, in that sense. Mm -hmm. And everybody who goes for this competition is of this size. Meaning that this is the ideal body that a girl is supposed to has, have. Once young girls grow up without seeing themselves represented in competitions like that, beauty competitions like that, mm -hmm. they are told that they are fat. Yes. No, yeah, I, mean, I, that, I, mean, I yes, mentioned that because yeah, that, that puts a lot of, a lot of that, pressure on that individuals to, to take slim. Um, and I don't slim, even understand the mister. <laughs> <laughs> to take to take drugs, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them. They don't understand the world. That's one of Mister Kamara. <laughs> Are you jealous? No, I, I don't understand it. <laughs> 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 
we have to go at some point. Yeah. Um, so please, uh, I think at the end of the day, we are driving out the message that you should make your voice matter. Make your voice and your beauty matter, right? It should, it should be a, you should be a game changer, not just on top of uh, the runway. You should be, yeah, you should be, you should off the runway. Yeah. You should be impactful because that's what we are going to remember you for, not just that you wore a crown on that stage, because another person is going to take that crown, another person is going like to- Like the year Sihavi did that drama, so we'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So we are going to, so it's just a message, do better. That's all we are saying. Um, so we, we are doing okay, but we can, we can do better. So thank you guys, we gotta go. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, so um, for everybody who is watching Freaky Table, we want to just say thank you so much. Please continue to watch. If you do not agree with what we are saying, please feel free to drop a comment. Take the message, the, 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 your thoughts and your opinion to social media. We are going to follow you there and try to understand ourselves better, right? So keep it civil, keep it um, modern and fun. Mm. Guys, bye. Mm. See you later. Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hit Beauty Studio, Mountain Anton Koto, Buna Musa Di Dwala, and Prime 22 Bar and Restaurant, Bukwango Buya. Hello guys, uh, my name is Yana Junior himself. You're watching Freaky Table. Like, subscribe, mm -hmm. share, and follow us. Comment. Let's okay. have fun. Okay. Your what? <laughs> this girl mad. Is she, is she okay? Anyway, <laughs> follow us. And yeah, keep watching. And if you have the, if you have the time, text me. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is looking for women. <laughs> yes. <laughs>